I'll, ju- I'll just do an intro song. We'll, yeah, so we'll talk <laughs> about the Patreon. Uh, welcome back to Everything From Nothing, Ireland's most patriot. Smoky. Smoky. Yeah, Smoky podcast. <laughs> Smoky <laughs> podcast. Pa- most uh, patriotic. Yeah. Patriotic, yeah. yeah. Patriotic. Like is, is it Patriotic Award? Just now. Yeah, cool. Oh, we're just yeah. making up words now, are we? <laughs> <laughs> That's our new job. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh. Yeah, so if you want to, we're doing no guest episodes over on Patreon, just for two euro a month, they're just fun. So if you have set any change to throw at us, if you see us in the street, you want to throw change at us, you can. But if you want to also just at patreon.com slash Ireland's podcast, um, yeah, we're uploading no guest episodes, which uh, we talked about. It's only two euro, you were saying? Only two euro here. Oh, only two euro, no guest episodes. Oh, it's so like amazing. It's just, it's just the, we're doing the, the same thing. Shite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> basically, it's where we Pretty say all the shite that yeah. we would normally talk about. Very intimate <laughs> secrets and, and stuff yeah. like that. It's literally talking. Very embarrassing, shite, like. really, but like. Yeah, I wouldn't. Please don't watch it. Yeah. <laughs> be more, I'd be mortified. Just give you the money and don't watch yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be mortified if people saw that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you, should you? Oh, yeah. you should be. You should be. It's a disgrace. Especially, especially our most recent episode. Yeah, yeah. I know. I'm kind of worried about that. Well, anyway, if, we, if we need to take it down, we will. Okay, we'll do that yeah. soon. Yeah, we probably so. will. But we'll see who pays the two euro first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So today we're joined by Lorna Fitzsimons, who is a photographer who has recently become. A, would you say a member of Turles or the surrounding areas? Um. Over, over church. Over church, Turles. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and, uh, and um, a blow in. Yeah, put it that way. A blow in. Uh, you're, you're. So you're from Dublin originally, are you? Yeah. 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 Daughter of Isabel or yes. Margaret. <laughs> 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 He's done his research. Oh my God. <laughs> I've been tracking you down. <laughs> I feel slightly violated. <laughs> <laughs> we all do. Yeah. That was only because my mommy's probably watching. Hi, mom. Hello, mommy. Yes, Hi, mommy. Isabel. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Can I say hello to my dad? Do, yeah. Yeah. Please do. Yeah. Daddy, Paddy, how's Paddy. it going? That's class. Hey, Paddy. Oh, you, Paddy. Oh, Paddy for time is your dad? Yeah. Oh, sound. Do you know him? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, so would you say you're a photographer, but you've also... Would that, what would you, like, say as I'm your a, professional? I'm a photographer and a filmmaker. And so a filmmaker, I'm yeah. I'm kind of moving towards filmmaking, more towards directing and writing. Um, but I started as a photographer. I suppose I'll always be a photographer. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. and do you have a pr- preference? Or are they just different in their own ways, like photography? Or f- if you could only pick one to do, what would you pick? <gasps> is it that? Is it that clear? You don't have to answer that question because I know that's like a literally picking your favorite child. So yeah, you yeah. can literally say I'm not answering that question. Uh, to me, it's all about storytelling. Okay. And so it's it's so it's all the the, the same thing. Um, obviously. Film is a longer version, or TV is a longer version mm. of storytelling. So even in a picture, you're trying to put across an emotion or um, uh, a kind of tell some sort of story. Yeah, so that's what interests me. I think as humans, that was what we do. Yeah, we yeah, we've been stalking you and looking at your <laughs> pictures. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're very, very strong, aren't they? They're unreal. Like it's, yeah. it's thank you, insanely thank good you. photography and. and Sorry, go on. I was just looking at that George Clooney one or whatever, you know. George Clooney. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you have, a photo- you have a photo of George Clooney. Oh, really? It's not actually George Clooney. <laughs> is it not? <laughs> no, he just looks very like him. His name Jesus is Jeremy. Jeremy. Yeah. Jeremy Clooney. No, George's <laughs> long lost brother. He's with Morgan the Agents and he models and. Uh, um, yeah, no, he's not. He's you not George Clooney. You told, you told me a story about that. Are you allowed to? Is that okay? Can you share I don't that? No, can I say that? <laughs> okay, maybe not. <laughs> well, yeah. I know, say, well, but well, no, but I will. Then he, there was a documentary made about him. Oh, he, right, he, yeah. yeah his, okay. his grandfather was. Um, no, his, his George Clooney's grandfather was his grandmother's neighbor before the grandfather moved to America and started a family over there. So. Wow. Yeah. Well, he's like the him. image of him, isn't he? <laughs> yes. uh, but, you know, but he's a lovely, lovely, yeah. lovely man. Yeah. And he frequently, he'll tell you great stories about people stopping him in the street saying, oh, I love your films. And, and thinking it's and George. And he'll be like, no, no, with a, with a real Irish accent saying, no, and I'm not George. So and uh, so like um, and, he'd, and he'd have people going, oh, are you incognito? Like, right, yeah. you know, no problem. Yeah, um, yeah that's so. so mad. Does he ever just like... Just be like, ah, fuck it, and just like sign the autographs. That's what I do if someone was coming up. I just signed sure autographs anyway. That'd I be totally funny. Would. Just get totally into would the photos, like. But isn't that like loads of stars say they sign autographs, like Lawrence Fishburne and, and yeah, who's the one guy who's like 
uh, and they sign autographs from each other. They look like each other. Oh. You know, yeah, you know, I know the guy. Yeah. Very like I know the guy. I can yeah. never remember his name, but he's in loads of things. Like he's, he's a in Pulp Fiction. Uh, oh, Samuel, Samuel L. Jackson. Jackson. Yeah, Samuel yeah. L. Dra- Jackson. They have a laugh. At yeah. People yeah. Yeah. mix them up. So, so I'm sure it's it's the nature of being famous. Yeah, or jo- a famous face. Mar- Mark Wahlberg and Matt yeah. Damon get that yeah, yeah, so yeah. much, which yeah. is funny because I told I always I always get them confused as well. But when you really look at them closely. They don't look alike. I know they don't, but like yeah. they're. But I don't know what I just thought it was weird. I used to get them confused, and I found out like half the world does too. So um, I'll tell you, I uh, I told you this before. I have a twin sister, uh, so yeah. I know how they yeah. feel. Like yeah. I know what they feel like. People coming up to you saying, "How's it going?" and you've no idea who they are. <laughs> or yeah, I was telling you before that I was on Grafton Street. No, no, it was my twin sister. Yeah, telling stories. My twin sister was on Grafton Street, and uh, I did karate when we were much younger. Yeah, and um, someone ran up to her, grabbed her in a headlock, and started you know messing, and she screamed the place down. <laughs> Thought she was being mugged. Yeah. And then um, he let her go and was like, oh my God, so you're not Lorna then? And he's like... That's so <laughs> mad. Like, oh. So it's... it's and uh, she laughed and laughed, did she? Yeah. Um, she I think she was disgusted. <laughs> and then there was loads of people I knew in Dublin who, who said, I thought you were really rude for years because you just walked by me. You know, or not say hello or, or kind of... So it can be hard. That is so bizarre, yeah. And How did you, like, get into the photography thing? Because I just, like, both of the things that you do, like the, the moving towards the, the directing and stuff like that, they're really competitive yes. industries, like, especially in a little place like mm. Ireland, there's not much of a kind of scene or a thing going on. Mm. How did you get into it? Um, uh, yeah, hugely competitive. Yeah. One, having a twin... You know what being competitive is all about. Yeah. <laughs> um, to no, I I I was really lucky. I was really driven at the end of school, and I knew what I wanted to do. And I just my thing is always to, or I have learned over the years to attack things with about ten prongs. And so mm. I um I didn't I wanted to study photography. I didn't get into a course. Do you know my friend had a camera. He lent it to me. Yeah. He told me what camera I should buy. Um and um. So I started taking some shots. I didn't get into any courts. They were crap. So I did a, a PLC course in photography. And then at the end of that, I there was an ad on... Where did you do the PLC? Uh, Marino. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, and, no, and it was kind of like... I was in a class of people who didn't really give a shit. Yeah. And I was really into it. So mm. I got everything. They let me use the dark room. They let me mm. use the equipment. They, you know... I, I It probably I think, even gave you more sort of... Not focus, but like... But just because I was so bloody enthusiastic, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I got everything. <laughs> and so then I got into college. But at the end of that, there was an ad on, you know, when they do the jobs at the end of, on the radio, and it was yeah. Jackie looking for a darkroom yeah. person. Um, and um, so so I applied for that. And they worked then in a darkroom. It was called Primary Colour. So in the days of labs, this is, you might, all might be too young nope. to even know <laughs> film and labs and dark rooms. And I, 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 yeah, yeah. I was in, I spent like 10 years in a, in a black and white dark room, but yeah. that business was half owned by a studio owner. Okay. And I literally got in the door to do work experience. I kind of, I had seen on the Late Late Show, someone, some photographer saying, I hung out in the studio forever. I learned everything there so mm. I thought I'm, I'm gonna do this yeah so literally there were no female assistants at the time and they kind of they wouldn't hi- actually hire me so I just hung out there <laughs> and I was yeah, like that's so for, cool. for I think it was two over two years I hung <laughs> out there but I learned everything from they they lit everything from cars to beer bottles you know and mm. and cornflake packets and 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 they did you know advertising so yeah. I learned a massive amount about um lighting I just it that was really shows in your yeah. pictures as well. The lighting, yeah, well, yeah. And, and you know things like uh, kind of adding in light, but taking out light is as as is important. Yeah. Like yeah. blacks as, are as important as as the as white reflectors, and just uh, like for years of and that was invaluable. Mm. Yeah. Um. And then from that, well, it was invaluable, but it started to get a little boring, and I I I didn't know why or I didn't know what, and I was working, I was working for. This lab was run by every photographer in Dublin, or was used by every photographer in Dublin. So I was lucky, I was meeting photographers all the time. Um, and because I had experience in the studio, I started to freelance assist. I couldn't get a full-time assistant job because no one would hire a woman. There, there were just How no girls. How long ago was that? That is in the 
mid early mid nineties. Jesus, oh that's so mad. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. But I think you're, you're, probably, you're probably younger than them, are you? Huh? Yeah, who's you're probably younger than them. Are you? You're probably than younger me, than. I'm 77. Are you? 77. I'm 82. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 73. Yeah. Funny. Well, I was born in 73. I was. Were you? Yeah. There you go. Same age. Yay. It's a good That's year. Funny. It's a great so year. So we're all That ancient. was a good year. <laughs> 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 we're Sorry, all man. younger than Kieran though. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, yeah, that was in the mid, mid 90s, early 93 or something like that. Yeah. So from there, I... Um, met a few forward-thinking photographers and I started to work with this one particular guy um, and as an assistant, as a freelance assistant and he photographed people and he photographed fashion and all of a sudden I was like, oh my God, that's yeah. it. I'm so much better with people. I, like, you know, in, in the studio, you'd spend hours lighting the mug and twisting the mug and turning mm. the mug yeah. and, and getting everything right. And so it... Where it's great learning, it started to become boring. Whereas with people, yeah. you have to engage. Like the mug doesn't talk. give much back. No. Yeah, the that's really cool. And um, the mug doesn't talk back to you no matter how much you talk to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You try. Well, sometimes, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Depends, <laughs> what, depends <laughs> what you're taking yeah. at the time. It depends what's in the mug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, uh, so I, so I, I, I just realised I loved then photographing people. So I started to work in, in fashion. That was a big, oh my God, moment. For me. Yeah. I had all this backup of lighting, but then um, I started to work with um, uh, fashion photographers. Um, and I worked with some really cool people. I, I, I got to work with, um, like, um, photographers that fly in, and so they'd use freelancers, you know, from, from America. I got oh to work right. with a guy called Albert Watson, who's, like, known as the Cyclops because he's blind in one eye, but he photographed everyone from Michael Jackson to... Oh, to, wow. Uh, do you know, everyone on the planet. Yeah. He's amazing. And he really... Before that, I'd worked with lots of really cool... Um, male middle-aged photographers who flirted with the models and 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 part of me was like oh my god how am i gonna i can't reproduce that because okay. they're you know, and does that work okay. to bring something out it of them? does it yeah. do, just to a certain extent or to bring whatever style yeah but then when i worked with albert watson who was brilliant he just chats he's like this Scot <coughs> scottish guy and he'd insanely talk to everyone and at the time that we were one of the shoots i did with him he was photographing kate blanchett yeah kate blanchett yeah yeah and um, for the Veronica Guerin film. Oh, yeah, yeah. And um, uh, he, I, he was loading, he was doing what an old fashioned plate camera, right. and I was loading the plates oh. in the dark bag, which was slightly terrifying. Okay. Yeah, cause because in case you, you get anything oh, wrong. But yeah. I was standing right beside him, and, okay. and, and she was right in front of us. And, but he'd, Daunting, he'd, isn't it? he was really generous with his knowledge, and he'd say things like, um, What did you learn today? And, but he'd talk to you for an hour. Like he'd want to see if you were actually learning from yeah, it. Yeah, he just loved cool. people and he'd talk yeah. to wow. everyone and he was, he was brilliant at lighting and he'd say, I'm doing this. When he was setting up, like he'd have a stand-in for Kate, he'd be setting up this really complicated lighting setup and he'd explain to you exactly what he was doing as That's he was doing cool. it. And it was, it was, stuff like that was awesome. I got to work with some yeah. Isn't that really yeah. refreshing to like have like yeah to like because I've had experiences like that like in the uh, events industry like where it's just like I don't know certain people that like you know there's the, there's a lot of people who have like egos and stuff who'd be very yeah. good at and there's like a whole layer of egos but then there's just one or two people who are actually better than them past mm. that who will stop and they'll slowly I think the stop. higher up you are the better you yeah. are mm. the more confident you are to let your knowledge out yeah, and, yeah. And be that's true and yeah. share it and, yeah. and, and, and be really enthusiastic but what I learned also from him was you just gotta be yourself it's not about being cool yep. yeah. if you're cool yeah, yeah. great but I am not cool I think you're so cool. Cool. cool that that um well, I learned that if I was myself, it's truth and honesty that yeah. helps you get, you know... Get them to be comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. You need and that, to, yeah. to, But also, people put up this facade. Yeah. And it's how to get past that to photograph something truthful. That's because there so is nothing, cool. You wouldn't believe... Like, I think people are so intelligent in terms of getting past That's other so people's cool. lies and... and yeah. Not, yeah. With the facade they put up, that if you can get in there... And tell mm. something honest. Yeah. Yep. That's where the pictures are. That's where the yeah, yeah. and that's where the story is. So that's so like, cool. You know. You often see early that's really pictures cool. of bands and they look terrible because they're trying so hard to yeah, be yeah, posed yeah, yeah. and they're yeah, it's, it's embarrassing. Yeah. But when they relax yeah. and just be yeah. themselves, they look a lot better. Don't or they? when you catch a moment yeah. where they're just being, you know, yeah. Yeah. themselves. They're the ones it's that like 
because at the time, I think those ones you're talking about, they actually do work. But when you look back at them, they always come across as cheesy or cringy. But the ones that aren't, like, are very much, like, <laughs> yeah, just sometimes even, like, a, a band album that you know that was just, like, taken randomly and they used that or something. Mm-hmm. And the energy still carries of, like, it has a bit of soul or something. It's yeah. energy. It definitely is energy. And, and there's something, th- th- then, like, editing. So looking through all your pictures and finding the ones... I did, um, you know, uh, so I photographed loads of actors. I, f- I photographed them on the way up, right? And um, On the way up as in before they got big? Yeah, uh, before okay. I'm kind of, I photographed yeah. a lot of young actors. Mm. And so now a lot of them are, are yeah. kind of... Um, well, I saw some of you. Yeah, we were Barry Kjog. Yeah. 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 Is it Kjogan or Kjog? Kjogan. 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 Uh, actually, I never technically photographed him as, as a okay. shoot. He... Um, I was photographing another actor and he could not... Like, I worked with him in the actor's studio in uh, the factory and I helped him do one of his first self-tapes. Oh, brilliant. Where he got a huge film out of it. Wow. And um, uh, but I was photographing someone else and he was like, oh, can I... You know, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, God, he'd probably kill me for saying that. He couldn't stay away from the fucking camera. He was, like, <laughs> in there. <laughs> Take true. my mug, too. And I'm like, it was really funny. Yeah, it was, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of... And, and some people are... They're good shots. Yeah, he's yeah. really yeah. good. He's, yeah. Uh, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's amazingly talented. Even yeah. really young, you could just see how um, how he knew... Char- he understood the nuances of character. And that's... Yeah. Good. But I was just saying about album covers and stuff. Yeah. Um, uh, Paul Mescal, I photographed him. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, before he was... Yeah. Of, of the um, normal people fame but he's a lovely kid and his sister yeah. um, is an amazing singer who's um, Paul Meskel sorry you don't, is uh, he bad yeah people, normal was a band normal no no he's a, a TV series oh okay right sorry I don't really watch like TV like and daddy yeah. were watching it there during the first lockdown what oh really it's the kind of thing you don't want to get caught oh, with your parents watching sorry I, I do know I, do, I was yeah. thinking yeah yeah, yeah I, d- I know Lenny so. Abrahamson directed yeah. it and Sally Rooney wrote the book and, oh, and okay, right. screenplay and it was done by BBC mm-hmm. and and is um, uh, he's the guy with the gold or the silver chain yeah okay right and that that's mad. So sorry, yeah. What were you saying about that? His sorry, sister. First. So so he sister. came became mm. quite big, and yeah. and um, uh, it's it's lovely to see. He's a lovely, lovely, yeah. lovely guy. But what what I really found interesting. So his his sister has an amazing voice. I think he's he's an amazing voice as well. But she has a a jaw dropping voice, yeah. and she came to me to to photograph. She was doing a um a single, and we did a session in the studio to try and get a um a kind of cover for the single okay. and it was and we got a lovely and she sang and and we got a lovely vibe but it's the one it's that the almost the outtakes the ones that are that where she's kind of yeah you know that are um untold or n- yeah. not when you're not planning contrived. when you're yeah not contrived when you're planning something I, I think you have to leave yourself open to all the other yeah, shit that happens absolutely. and usually the interesting stuff especially for music yeah a bit of emotional stuff and and she just did something and I and, and I caught it and and they used that one as that's the cool. Cover. But I was laughing. Her parents are amazing people. Her mum and um, drives Paul and I think the older brother does um, rugby. I felt like they're all doing extremely well because they have such good backup. Mm. They like they seem to have mm. parents who are like, yes, you can do it. You yeah. Can do anything. yeah. And her mum drove her to the studio and sat and wait, uh, waited outside for hours. And wow. Yeah. And, and that kind of... It's amazing. It's really it is reminds me Positiveness. Of, yeah. yeah. It is so valuable to have that, like, like as in... Like, when you see, like, just so... Well, Hollywood is the best example of people moving out to Hollywood. It's just, like, you don't have parents to fall back on to go back home. Like, you could end up homeless. Like, and that happens, like, a lot. But... Because uh, I was listening to a podcast earlier... And this guy who's, like, famous from, like, video games or whatever, but he was doing it before it was, like, a thing to be famous from, like, back in, like, 2006, literally just doing it as a kid. And and I thought it was interesting because he was going on about, like, saying how so many of these certain people, they were naming certain people who said, who, who never, like, taught video gaming was going to become an industry, so they went to college and stuff like that. And they were saying, and, you know, and the people that were talking to him were saying, yeah, but you just persisted and you said go on. But I kind of thought, like, the part they were missing there was just, like, this guy has like 
he's living in an okay house, but not even that. It's he has parents there, where it's just Security. like security. Yeah, you're not yeah. like they're they're. It's really unfair to say to all the other people who True. didn't see it because he didn't see that. Like no one's seen like game and coming an industry like that. Maybe some people did, but like with certain things anyway, it's not about what you see. It's about like what you had. Like those people that left, like they just probably like their parents probably didn't believe in them. They were telling them to go to college and all this. Like and like. So I think it's well, something. So I think it's about being open to what happens and knowing when to jump. Knowing yeah. when to, there's so many things yeah. go on in life, knowing when, uh, and decisions. Um, who was it? We were talking about, we watched a, um, a film last night, and we were talking about, who? Do, what's her name? I'm so bad with names. Who does Silence of the Lambs? Oh, uh, Jodie Foster. Jodie Foster. Yeah, yeah. And um, uh, she has, so she turned down the second Silence of the Lambs, mm. and, and Jed was, was like, I was disgusted she wasn't in the second one. I said, it's probably because the second one is usually a lot worse than the, yeah. the first one. But she has made really good choices in, in her career in terms mm. of what films, and sometimes it's those choices. Yeah. Yeah. But security of family allows yeah. you back you, up you to do definitely, that. Yeah, definitely, you definitely. Your sister are quite successful, like, and quite, you know... Um, I suppose you define success. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah though. Um, like, uh, all, all the different things you did. So Paddy mm. and Isabel must have been pretty uh, laid back or whatever. They were, they very... Do you know yeah. what? They're amazing, yeah. uh, absolutely amazing parents. And I have... Um, I'm about to shoot a film, uh, a yeah. short funded by Offaly, and um, my dad is in there with um, oh, with the massive amount of help in terms of logistics and, oh, wow, and that's um, cool. feeding crews and yeah. and because um, of COVID, there's so many restrictions in terms of how we can do things and we have to feed people outdoors and and yeah. Uh, so my what? dad is is just amazing in terms of of. Yes, we can do it. And, and, and so true. when yeah. you when you told them that you wanted to do photography and you hadn't gotten into a college and stuff like that, they were totally sound with just like yeah, pursue it and yeah, yeah. They were and they were quite. They're, um, yeah, they were always. But I'm always coming up with crazy screams, like uh, yeah. uh, crazy schemes, or yeah. uh, like I see it in, in in you guys as well. Just do stuff and try it, learn from it, make mistakes, get up, do it again, and, yeah. and have like ten rounds. I did. When so, uh, we spoke before about um, photography. When I did a lot of fashion photography, yeah, it's all glamorous mm. and marvelous. And then you get a shock and realize, oh, maybe I'm using all my talent to sell shit to young women yes. who don't need shit. That's true. Yeah. And then you start to question what I am, what am I doing with my life? So like you were talking <laughs> about like crisis. like doing taking pictures for like someone that might be advertising makeup or something like that. Is that what well, you mean? Just no, just that the fast fashion and the like. Oh. Okay. In terms of of yeah. like fast fashion, the turnover and push on young women it to yeah. it fuels a lot of kind so of negative yeah. things. Yeah. As a photographer, you felt like partly responsible. Like, yeah. okay, yeah. right, you wow, that's really like I've done a couple of shoots where where maybe the clothes weren't as you know were more revealing than I had expected, and mm. and kind of and it really turned me off doing you know. Yeah. And they're thinking, oh, you're a female photographer, so. Um, it should you'll be do it this in, in a way that's yeah. and uh, anyway, so it, it kind of put me off a little bit. Yeah, but I was there's two, um, where there's two kind of chats I can go with. That yeah. one is that down the whole road of then. I like where things are going now towards more sustainable fashion. I have yeah. a lot of clients yeah. now yeah. who are. Like it's you know buy less stuff, buy expensive good stuff, good stuff yeah. buy yeah. Irish stuff. Do you like know yeah. what I mean? Buy yeah. y- you know sustainable stuff. Sustainable yeah. T-shirts, um, particularly, which yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, if you've heard of a brand called Art Tribe, <laughs> yeah. really yeah. I like I work. I have some great clients now yeah. who are who just are ethical and and um, yeah. uh, or beauty products that are vegan and stuff. And I love working with clients like that because That's it's really it's a good. nicer. Um, uh, kind of feel, but and then the other side of that, I was going to say that pushed me to go towards film. It started making me think, well, what do what I want to do with my talent? So I went back in two thousand and five, and I did a degree in photography. I was lucky enough that I had ten years' experience as a photographer, so they let me into third year, and I did a degree in two years, and and um, uh, I did well to try and do something more artistic. But then I started thinking, no, I really want to do film. Yeah. So I put 2010. I think I put I used my own money and I um, or my dad would beg to differ, but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> whose money it exactly was, <laughs> and my mom as well, and and uh, I put together a film. Um, so my first feature, I wrote and directed 
a a feature about a young woman who goes off and has a, an abortion. Mm. Um, so it was a little ahead of its time because it was way before repeal the eighth. And yeah, yeah. and um, and I made every mistake in the book. It's like it's rough and ready. Had amazing actors and amazing crew. Um, and it uh, got into a whole lot of film festivals, the Human Rights Film Festival in Barcelona. That's amazing. But where was I going with that? It was the. It was the direction just we're going in single yeah, yeah, of after the photography, yeah. like why you no, went into the film. Like like uh, and but the support you have. My yeah. mom yeah. got up at five o'clock every morning and made sandwiches and yeah. soup for the crew and brought Whoa. it down and paid for the expense. Whoa. Do you know what I mean? Actually, My yeah. dad got a big van and and. Um, uh, moved sets around and did so. Yeah, That's I think so cool. if you have that kind of backup, it yeah, kinda, like you, you well, you can have that. I'm not saying yeah, that you, you won't be successful unless you have yeah, that. I know. But I'm saying one, I, I try to do it for my kids and two, yeah. um, uh, friends yeah. and yeah. Yeah. you can like you can definitely be successful without that. But I think like what you were saying there, like the comfortability, the being comfortable, like, taking the leap, because it is a leap, like, mm, going yeah, from yeah. the photography to the film director. Mm. It's like, yeah, you have that sense of, like, what someone can catch you. And, like, 99% <laughs> of the time, they don't, you don't need them to catch you. Like, and, and you know, then yeah, helping out. you have the security that yeah, allows you to jump. Make, th- yeah. Because, you know, yeah. you have, like, like a harness on sort yeah. of thing, like, and it might help. And I think from that state, you make just better sounder decisions if you're making decisions based on desperation and fear mm. because your back's against the wall all the time the chances well, of you fucking a, up are much yeah, higher there's, a, yeah. there's a, um, a science experiment right where they got sharecroppers mm. in america and w- it, which are people who do um who get all of their wages one, uh, at one time in the year or two times in the year either mm. they grow they harvest and then they sell and, and twice a year they have a lot of money and then the rest of for the next six months they have to make do, mm. right? And they tested their inte- their IQ, yeah. um, before just before they sold, meaning when they had no money, mm. right? And then they tested it afterwards when they had lots of money, and their IQ was higher when they had more money. Yeah, in their you make better and the decisions idea that you make. Well, yeah. yeah. Because you're running when you're you feel that fear. You're running on your stress-based yeah. biochemistry, so you effectively have tunnel vision. All you're looking for is an out. You're not seeing that lovely panoramic view where you could do this or you could do that, and you don't have great yeah. perspective. You're just looking from that survival perspective, mm. and that's when people fuck up because they just they don't see, you know, that broader yeah. panoramic view. Mm. But it's it's um so um I sc- you remind me there. So I work with. I also teach, and uh, so I work freelance, and I have done for for like twenty five odd years. Yeah. Um. Uh, and so, like that, you either have loads of money or no money yeah. <laughs> whatsoever. Mm. Yeah. And and you know the 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 boom time was marvelous, and yeah. then we had a recession. It's like, oh God, you just held oh, no. onto your your underwear, do you know. Yeah. And, yeah. and so b- so I would be very used to that having yeah. <laughs> it's like so it smart or dumb having yeah. loads of money or no money. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 that's uh, and that's done me well do you know what i mean yeah, so that good. means i know when to um not to worry that something is coming if you have nothing and not to go mad when you have lots <laughs> do you know yeah. what I mean? yeah. although sometimes i don't i don't always i'm not yeah. always sensible but i work with so i teach a lot as well um and that's quite a steady do you teach photography yeah, yeah i teach photography and i teach drama and um but i teach photography to people who use homeless services in dublin Mm-hmm. And that is one of the most rewarding things right. I, I can have imagine. I have ever done. Right. And you see people there with under, you know, that that ma- who make decisions in desperate times mm-hmm. yeah. that we might not understand yeah. Yeah. why they do that. Yeah. But then you re- then you kind of yeah you realize that if any of us were in that position, yeah. You know, you never know. This is I see it a lot in my job, like working in psychiety, mental health, and it's like you know, I constantly say to people, you are not your decisions, you are not your behavior, because that's, you know, that was a point in time, and and if other people haven't been in that place at that point in time, you never know what decision you would make. Exactly. If it wasn't you, then lucky fucking you. Yeah. Yeah. People are all people are always so certain what to not do on behalf of someone else without being able to take into account what like you know the feelings of that experience and of it's mental like and yeah it's a lot where like people are homeless like or there's a lot of people who might have like who might be homeless and like uh, who are just trying to survive like you know even like there's some people i know from terrorists that would like you know like i've done certain things and i seem bad in society but and everyone's whole thing is just like um uh ghosts 
it's the studio oh, ghost okay. we have here. Um, but everyone's always thing is to be like, oh, they, they shouldn't do that. It's like, yeah, but like, there's like, I don't know, it's annoying when people don't like ask you why did they do that in the first place. Like, you have to go Homelessness back to it. Homelessness is a complex, complex yeah. Yeah. issue. Sure and, is, yeah. and, and um, I did, when they did Occupy Dublin, I went in and volunteered and I... I um, of course, Occupy Dublin. Uh, when they, there were big buildings in Dublin oh, empty yeah. and yeah. over yeah. Christmas. Good, yeah. and And it was an amazing thing, but it was also f- slightly flawed, do okay. you know? And... Um, uh, I I kind of my bosses w- where I teach were like the problem with these is they then homed most people from that but they displaced people who are on a you know a list oh, and okay. so there were a lot of issues but it was really interesting to go in and see oh, um, wow. uh, people's it's usually like mental health mm. or mm. B- but um, so teaching photography to these people a lot of people would say to me, "What? what's the point or what's the, you know, surely... The outcome of it or whatever. Yeah, but it's that, so l- the whole idea of social prescribing and... and yeah. um, You're giving people hope, self-esteem, belief. Yeah, so right? yeah, giving Well, as humans, what, what, one of the biggest things we do is tell our story or tell stories since the cave painting. Yeah, yeah. 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 And for mental health, which is their biggest issue, yeah. um, uh, mental health issues... Just expressing yourself, just yeah. like and and this is people who use home services, so they're not necessarily you know, you know they're not necessarily in the street. They might live in hostels, or they might live on someone's couch, or they might have previously you know lived in hostels and just be getting themselves back. And the mm. idea is to try and get them back into education. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And and it's again kind of uh, complex and family, and you do see people with you know, heroin addictions or mm. uh, an addiction is huge thing, but you also see people just with bad luck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or just with um, social problems or, you know... It or is terrifying because because literally anybody could yeah, end yeah, up yeah. homeless. When yeah. you see the big array of people that are in that situation, yeah. it's fucking yeah. terrifying. Mm. Mm. And it's not a blame thing. It's mm. not a... So what I do, th- you know, you, I do photography with them. It is amazing to give people a creative outlet. Yeah, and that's I've seen so some. Good. I've seen some... Brilliant, brilliant outcomes, and I'm hoping to get an exhibition together. I'm hoping mm-hmm. to to work with a very big gallery, and um, I've been collecting images that these people have been making for the last five years, and hope to, you know, to, to get a big show together because there's some amazing pictures. You know, That's some really good. yeah, some that'd be brilliant. Yeah, like well, and we d- we go up and down O'Connell Street and a whole load of kind of places, and and people have really surprised me. People with say heroin addiction, mm. addiction or Something, um, one guy, uh, one girl, not so long ago, um, just surprised me in the amount of balls she had. And we talked about photographing people on the street and the etiquette of that, and how I was saying, usually a smile goes a long way, yeah, and yeah. holding the camera up and saying, you don't just like I. There is the legals of it are that you can photograph anyone on the street. It's actually they, they don't have a. Oh right. Like stand-up. You can't necessarily sell them to a third party and. Is, have is that apply to video as well? <laughs> like, like I'm not yeah. like, but I, I, mean, I, I don't know, quote me on it. I'm sure it does. But if they're in, if they're in a private property, you can't. Yeah, you know, yeah. But if they're on the street, you, you can. But I always think there's ethics involved yeah. there, and you kind of yeah. you need to yeah. let them know you're you're doing it. And I, I always say yeah, the, the best way is usually to hold the camera up and smile, or like you know, mm. and a nudge and an and an expression will that will. But say if you're hanging around in O'Connell Street taking photographs, a lot of you know strange people yeah. but you know when you see like these youtubers and stuff that are, like you know giving money to homeless people i actually personally think there's nothing wrong with that because at the end of the day the mm. homeless person gets money what i do think they fail to do is they they go up to them first with the camera and i think what they should do is you know like mm. like that just like put down the cameras first go up to them and say hey we're going to do this and but we're going to make it seem like we're going to the first thing and i i to me that seems okay then like mm. And you get their permission because it's a really weird thing. It doesn't matter. It is good that it's you're massive, giving them money. Massive e- well, ethics, you yeah, know, around it. That can be traumatizing to, for yeah, them, like just cruel tra- people. Yeah. Especially, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, some of so, so we discuss it quite a lot before we we okay. go and do it. But I've had That's you know really cool. one woman in class who's a heroin addict and, and on methadone, coming off heroin, and she bounds up to a guy in the street who clearly looks like a heroin addict. Yeah. And I thought, oh no, this is going to be, you know, there's going to be trouble. He's going to be mm. aggressive, and he's, you know, he's not going to. But she, she just, I think they recognized each other, recognized an issue in each other, and he was delighted that someone saw him, and wanted to take his picture, and he stood up, 
Wow. He had a mask on, so he pulled down the mask and he beamed the smile and it was it's one of the most beautiful pictures I've wow. ever seen because it was so honest. Mm. It was like she she was like, Can I take your picture? And he was like, Absolutely, yes you can. Mm. And and he was delighted. So stuff yeah. so you see stuff like that which That's is just true. inspiring. We, we did a module yeah. like that, a uh, photograph with so something city it was called. I can't remember what it was, but um basically we all had to do our different things. So you had to photograph different parts of the city. Right. So mine was people. So um I tried uh without just telling them just be discreetly mm. it was it was rubbish mm. so um the only thing i could do is go up and uh, ask them and mm. say to them oh it was amazing the different reactions uh, there was yeah, yeah. one guy on the underpass and he was begging or whatever and i asked yeah. him i give him a quid or something like that and said look i mm. do this for college any chance and he said yeah yeah of course and right down into the, look, looking into the camera the intensity of the yeah, shot yeah. Oh, yeah. when you had his permission to do it it looked so powerful mm. then there was another old guy i remember he was over at a coffee shop outdoor coffee shop mm. And he, um, I asked him, and he was a poser. Mm. Um, he was an old man, but he was wearing white suit and white. He was really usually when people yeah. make yeah. efforts, they yeah. like. Yeah. It, you oh, know. he loved it. Yeah. He had the yeah. newspaper, and then when I was developing it, you could see the text of the newspaper, the mm. photograph, oh. of mm. and him delighted with himself. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You yeah. actually yeah. reminded me of something. So yeah. when which is yeah. totally aside, I was on. Um, I was doing a shoot in um, Krakow in Poland, yeah. and we brought a fashion team over, and we were shooting for a week, and we blagged our way, and the tourist board would pay for everything, and we were publishing in a big newspaper here so everyone got their credits and then we were on the street photographing this alpha with a newspaper came up and started oh yeah the day before we had in order to do this we had to go and meet the chamber of commerce so me and my my friend jan who's a stylist who we worked together a lot we were like two young ones in front of a table of businessmen in suits yeah. And for some reason, they had cream cakes everywhere, okay, right? And, <laughs> and they did. We had this big meeting about Chamber of Commerce, yeah. you know, and we we were just blagging our way through. Yeah. yeah. We're just doing some fashion now. We'd be fine. Yeah. And then um, we did, they did photographs and shaky handy photographs. Yeah. This fashion team from Ireland have come to Krakow. And and um, so it was funny and interesting. And anyway, the next day, we we're shooting on the street. And this alpha, big beard, and he's like shoving a newspaper in my face. And I'm saying to the, we had a translator, was saying, would you just get him away from me a little bit? Yeah. He's, you know, he's freaking me out. And he kept pushing it. And she said, she, she, she kind of um, realized what he was saying. And then she said, no, no, he's asking you, is this you in the newspaper? So there's a photograph for, of us from the day before okay. in the oh newspaper. Yeah. And Brilliant. he was like, so we ended up, the crowd crew stopped and we took, it was like my 15 seconds of fame. Do you know what I mean? Being spotted on the streets Brilliant. in Krakow. It's funny. And he held the paper, we took a photograph. Oh, it was just cool. But yeah, you kind of judge people. Yeah. That's yeah. our one flaw, is judging people based on how they look. Have you done like a fair bit of travel with the photography? Yeah, uh, there was a boom time. There was a good time when, you know, when when um, I'd go to South Africa and, and shoot. You know, in, in February here, you're trying to shoot swimwear on Dolly Man Beach, and it's freezing, the models are blue. Where, where Whereas in South Africa did you go? So you go to Cape Town, and you Lovely. shoot down there, and it's all set up for... Mm. They, That's really they cool. Kind of, um, the models all go there in the season in February, summer there. So yeah, it's yeah. gorgeous and hot, and, and um, yeah. Yeah. so we've had a couple of... That's really cool. What about, like, say you made that film there, and you said you made all these mistakes, and, what, like, it's cool that you can just make mistakes and feel cool about it. I like think that this expectation that people are genius straight off the bat is is, is mistaken mental, and yeah. wrong. It's Do you know mental. that you like there's one if you go through the so I learned it in photography in the studio system and that was great. Yeah. I learned a lot. But if, and but what I didn't do is I I I'm trying to step into directing having not come up to the ranks. Yeah. Mm. So it's really it's really hard. So I used my own money to make the film and so I couldn't make yeah. all the mistakes. The sound mm. isn't yeah. great on it. You will Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the only way you learn. Do you know what I mean? It's it's the way you best learn. Yeah, yeah. one of my favorite. Director, it? What is it? Director. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Like the first film, the sound is an issue. You will know. You. Obviously, studied a bit of sound and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, and that whole thing of you can get away with shit picture, mm. 
Um, yeah. I cannot get away with dodgy sound. Or a lad who won't stay near the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> <This guy. laughs> we're, we're actually getting... They're trying to train me. No, it's, 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 it's They're going to tie a little thing to me. <laughs> right, right. Uh, we're coming up on to 50th episodes, and hopefully in the 50th episode... You're going to start get your shit electric together. Electric we're using electric start. shock therapy. Yeah. 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 We're, yeah. Act- yeah. we're over getting new mics and stuff, like, so, yeah. But yeah, and yeah. Yeah. But yeah, sorry, you were saying, yeah, about the sound, about shit. Sound yeah, no, something. just making, making mistakes is it. Yeah, it's yeah. What are to learn? Other mistakes, sound, what else? Yeah, yeah. what mistakes <laughs> have I made in my life? Jesus, <laughs> where do I start? No, with the film, That's with that film. With that film um, what mistakes uh, have you made? And the script. Okay. So I learned from that film, right? I needed to work on script, and I needed to learn how to work with actors. Okay. Yeah. So you wrote so the script for that yeah, as well? with never having like okay, hardly yeah. seen another script Brilliant. before. So the structure is, is not as compelling as it should be. Okay. But I had used great actors. And what I found is I got in there, and I'm thinking, this is, I'd read a book... On um, a great book by Judith Weston on, on directing actors, and I thought I am the bomb. I'm yeah. going to do this, you know. Yeah. And um, uh, and then I realised I had three actors, and they literally almost spoke three different languages. No they way. just communicated in different ways. And oh. so I'd say the same thing to one actor, and, yeah. and one would understand That's and get it like that, really and another one would be, and then the third one just totally didn't get anything I said. So the first one translated most of the time, and mm. literally someone saying. The same thing I've just said to you, and you're saying it to Kieran, and then Kieran goes, "Oh, okay." Yeah. And, and it's that kind of. So I I I came out of that gun right. I I really need to work a lot with actors. So yeah. I was lucky enough to get into the factory, which is um was started by Kirsten Sheridan and and um, uh, a number of other directors who've done. You'd know them. The guy did once and and. Uh, once what? Once, you know, the, uh, yeah. with Dan Hansard. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and um, so these really cool directors had an actor studio going. Yeah. And they asked some lowly directors, you know, uh, the, to come down and kind yeah. of, we went twice a week and you kind of, you just workshop scenes with actors. How yeah. did you get into the factory when you say you were lucky enough to get Well, in they there? were running a course and they did, um, uh, th- they started it with a course on directing and acting. Yeah. And they, they, they wanted to put a, a studio together based on the actor's studio in New York. Um, and I didn't get it. I auditioned for that. I w- went for an interview for that, and I didn't get it. Um, but then a couple of weeks later, Kirsten rang me and said, would you like to come down to the studio, though, afterwards and, and hang out with us there? And yeah. we did things like they get actors to direct and directors to act. Yeah. And then they put it on a cinema screen. That's cool. Wow. And you'd, so you could empathize with it. Like and and how shitty direction, yeah, makes an actor feel like just lost, lost, See. or just pulls them away from where they need to be. Yeah. And I yeah. learned so I spent a number of years kind of there. I just I learned so much; it was unbelievable. I also felt like I'm home. I found like yeah, um, but it's it's kind of it turned into Bow Street Ac- Actors Academy, which is amazing. But it's a very different thing. It's kind of a school and. And the factory is gone now, but for four or five years it was. But yeah. then you have your Barry Kogans and your Neve Al- Algar and Shauna, Neve Algar, Shauna Kerslake, yeah. Jack Rayner, all of them came out of there. Uh, you know, so many yeah. people. And y- you were saying like the whole thing of like, yeah, being able to like, um, you know, like essentially like uh, that was like talking three different languages, three different people, because everyone's mind works differently. Like, mm. I didn't get how they communicate is different. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I think as well, like people, when people think of directors, there's like the the thing, like the, yeah, they think like a director is someone like you know Christopher Nolan who can think of these trippy, crazy concepts, and then it's just like, and then he can bring a play. But like a director as as a person, like in your daily, Nolan, yeah, he's one of my favorite. I, on a daily basis, that person is someone like as in before they were a director or like you, they're 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 like ability or s- like skills that they have personally, which is like the skill to. To be able to read people and to like direct people, it's reading which is people's emotion and, and reading what's coming off people. Mm. And, uh, so doing so hanging out in the factory was like hanging out in the studio on the start. I just soaked everything up and learned so much. And then from that, I started photographing actors for headshots. But for yeah, and, and now a lot of what I do is photographing actors. But I've learned, I've developed a system of how to, like, if I ask you to smile and be happy, yeah, you will look awkward. Yeah, no yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Well, but if I asked you to think of, <laughs> do you, if you have any pets, yeah, you know, what would you say to your pet when you go home at night? And people usually light up. Yeah, there's yeah. all sorts of ways to evoke emotion on people, and so that whole Stanislavski thing of acting is or or good 
directing is, is where you can help someone actually have actually experience emotion on yeah screen. so you're getting somebody yeah. to access their happy it's biochemistry huh? It's psychology yeah. is a it's biochemistry. Good Once you yeah. get yeah. them to access yeah. that biochemical has state, there, that's yeah. what the emotion Has is, there any yeah. been like an intense director that's been like, you know, you, like you're saying like to someone, like you mentioned their happy pet and yeah, the biochemistry is just saying, comes up as like happy. Is there any director who's like, I need to make this person cry? Hey, remember your grandmother died. No, well, that's like the whole <laughs> rocket. But, but you know, um, uh, and this is probably an awfully, awful way to do it, but, but The Shining and... Um, What's her name in The Shining? And Stanley Kubrick bullied her the whole time. Oh. Now, it's appalling. He bullied her and he had her terrified. And those scenes where she's, you know, Jack Nicholson, you know, The Shining, he's yeah. coming through the door, smashing mm. the door. She is yeah, completely is terrified. So, so that's quite method. Whoa. And, wow. and Stanley Kubrick was known for that. But um, oh, Or getting them to do another, you know, walk in the door a hundred times. I'm not sure I'm a fan of that. Like he was trying to actually make them insane. Well, like walking in, yeah. what do you mean not walking in the door a hundred times? Well, he do, you know, Jeez. that when you're exhausted, you stop mm. thinking about oh it. Oh, yeah, and John. Do okay. it. It's a great Getting them on autopilot. There is like something true about that. When you're exhausted, yeah. you often do the best yeah. things, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Because yeah. you don't care. But it, the, mo- tru- the most, yeah, when, when, when you've got past that exterior, yeah. you know, and, and you're too tired to to, care. to try. Well, like, have you seen the film Whiplash? Yes. Like, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, that with the yeah, drummer, yeah. where they're like, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, yeah. he just keeps at him, like, and then he gets so angry. He's yeah. like, I'm done. And he's like, I'm going to fucking show you. And it's just like... Well, is the, the, uh, with a film like Whiplash, they're, they're, I think it's destructive. I think that that's mm, clearly yeah. not healthy. No. no, it's not healthy at all. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, that kid did a did a massive uh, drumming performance at the end, but like I don't know there's so much. And then it, like that's why. Yeah, I what think happens in the end? Does he give up or he doesn't? No, he does it. He yeah. goes on stage yeah, and he does he like the most him. amazing drum solo like ever yeah. done. But like you know, but like and it's just like oh, or is it worth cool. it? Is it yeah. worth his mental health? And I think that's the interesting thing about Whiplash is Your like man was like just a sadist or something. Didn't he switch crazy. music on him and stuff? Yeah, as well? yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, tra- he, he was just being deliberately destructive all the yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah, and he got he got in trouble, didn't he? Yeah, and, uh, yeah, he lot he. Yeah, it's not yeah. healthy. Like like. Hmm. What? Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. was. Yeah. But yeah. to me, that's like working. There's there's modes of working. So I started in the studio system. Photographer was God. It was all on film, so it was actually it was quite hard and it was quite technical. Um, and photographer's God, and people shouted at the, you know. And as an assistant, they really wouldn't hire a woman because there was a lot of shouting went on. Um, I'd seen people get you know lights flung at them and all sorts of and there was that mode where it was a hierarchy and that's where it should run and then when I worked with that guy Albert Watson and he was lovely and he was the nicest going you don't and he's it's mistaken to yeah. think Martin, that Martin Scorsese yeah he's, he's lovely yeah and he will take opinions from yeah. from 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 everyone and stuff yeah. but as a way to do it or I've heard um, Sophie Coppola walked onto her first set and her dad's Francis Ford Coppola and she said so action mm. and he said he pulled her aside and said you're going to have to say it you know you're going to have to kind of shout it or say it with more authority or a leader here and she's like I'm going to do this the way I do this yeah so I, that wouldn't if I was an actor that wouldn't work for me someone being like let's go action I, I don't know I just there was a time when it worked because the, 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 you know the, that's that was the expectation of it yeah. people didn't yeah. respect you if you weren't yeah. like that yeah but now I think yeah, getting a, a crew together and like I know on photo shoots when you get a crew together we are normally falling around the place laughing behind the scenes we're that's having good, like yeah. a bomb you and, need that. and you get to people you get talented people and you get them in a position where they can make their best work and everyone mm. feels that goes back to that stress based yeah. biochemistry yeah yeah because you're free yeah. to think creatively when you're not fucking stressed and under yeah. pressure. Yeah. yeah, definitely. You can yeah. bring your best stuff out. Yeah, and I really feel like in photo shoots, we I've a, so my collaborator was saying Jan um, Byerton, she's a stylist to work with her for years. I, w- I said before in a post, if you're starting out as a photographer in fashion, get in league with a stylist. Do you know, okay. a young stylist. Yeah. Because and then you kind of grow up together and you yeah. form your style. Yeah, but we've done like we shot in South Africa. Or all over Europe, shot in loads of places, and the most of the time we're having a crack. In that yeah. time in Poland, she had uh, the clothes. Sh- we had to bring clothes in big bags, so yeah. she had these big bags we called the body bags. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And then we'd uh, film her zipped up in one of them. Do you know? Do yeah. you know you'd have kind of the crack? Like the crack yeah. But at the same <coughs> time, we worked really hard. We worked. You to go for a week and and cast 
scout locations, yeah. shoot and and get all the, the the shots and bring them home. And we worked damn so hard. Mad. You know, is it glamorous? No. Yeah, <laughs> oh I love God. it. I love to hear that. Yeah, it's yeah, not, is absolutely it? Absolutely no. It's hard work. No, it's, just, it's, h- it's hard. It's like everything, though. Yeah, people it's have such work. a funny idea what glamour. Like, uh, there's not, there's not much really glamour. Anything that you're working hard for probably yeah. isn't as glamorous as you think. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah Although I'm I did sorry. tell Jed I was going to insure my pinky finger. Really? Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's glamorous. That's good. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, no, it's not glamorous at all. Yeah, it's hard, hard work. Yeah, and um, it's usually. Um, uh, but we d- we do have the crack, yeah, and and also how to make yourself f- feel, um, I don't know, old and short and fat to go to more parties. <laughs> do you yeah, know what I mean? When, when everyone's like <coughs> they're all stunning, and you're like, oh, yeah, 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 like, try and look intelligent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, my my main thing is like, can can you get like an hour mm-hmm. work? Of it? my, I think what the, the more like I think it is value in everyone. I'm not saying that, but like. I think the main, the most valuable thing in a person is like, can can they talk for an hour on a podcast? It's just like you can have all the looks or whatever in the world, but like, not that you have to be able to talk on a podcast. I don't the know if best, that's what I'm saying. So the best models are intelligent. It it takes yeah. it's a very specific kind of the the best models I've worked with, and <coughs> and I think it's a it's a misnomer that models are unintelligent. Yeah, right? it's true. It's though. usually that they're young. Okay. And the crews yeah. are usually in their forties, and and the models are usually 15, 16, 17. Yeah. and so <coughs> they're easily it's they're just inexperienced, and so yeah. it's yeah. easy to to um to I mean like some of the, the idea that the, you know yeah. they're not bright. It's actually a hard job. Like when you see someone changing eighty times in a day, do you know what I mean? On, on some of the like lookbooks, fashion and stuff. Yeah, it's hard work. And people pulling out you like so your you doll. You're, you're taking those f- photographs to sell clothes or whatever, you know. <coughs> You get to kind of see the metrics of that afterwards, mm. see like how it translated or how well it went for, you know. Well, so I Photoshop everything afterwards, but I uh, so. So like you, you say you 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 t- 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 photograph me wearing this shirt or something. Do you get to find out if it sells or not? Like no, no. Okay. Uh, well, usually uh, if they ask you back, back yeah, it's exactly. because yeah. They, yeah. you know, and and yeah. and I'm pretty lucky in that I have regular okay. clients. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, when you take photos, like, because you're taking, like, can you t- take, can't you be up taking up to thousands of photos just to try and get the one photo? How the, f- like, not going to curse, but, like, how do you pick? Because, like, we were, I was doing something recent. I don't know what it was. And I was, like, trying to pick between, like, I, hundreds. I'm fast and, and with my gut. Good. Do you know what I mean? Ah. I don't, I don't you just ponder don't think. No, yeah. because everyone flips through them. I've yeah. uh, Just your gut. Your no, gut instinct <coughs> is massive, so you know, in terms of, and when I'm, because I take thousands of pictures of yeah. actors. I'm looking what's in their eyes. Uh, yeah, I mean, okay, I yeah. I heard Jim Sheridan, when he was in the factory, they had loads of cool people in to talk, and, and Jim, uh, um, uh, I heard Jim said once that um, best actors are the ones who walk in the room and look like they have a problem and you want to solve it for them. So okay. is that it, it, it was <laughs> in their eyes. I can see. I know that. I can, uh, yeah, I get that, yeah, actually. Yeah, that's yeah. funny. You know? that's yeah, good. that's cool. So and, and you connect to that really fast. It's, it's a subconscious kind of connection so that's what i go for that's cool that's really cool i like that so don't ponder over them for hours yeah Yeah. where are you at now with like what you're doing and because you said when you came in about that you're shooting and things like that so what what are you up to at the moment at the moment like last so the pandemic is a massive shock and and Mm. all of a sudden i can't photograph people and there's Mm. you know and and um all the fashion (coughs) stuff's been put on hold i did have a, a short film funded by offaly Thank you very much, Offaly. Yeah. That we are, and uh, Wildfire Films um, are producing it for me, and we were just ready to shoot in oh. February, and, um, and 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 it got down again. What's so it about? It is a um, so it's a short written by Ben Conway. It's an amazing short, and the it's about mm. um, domestic violence, which was actually a subject I didn't really want to work on, um, uh, but it's a domestic violence issue and. It's one of those scripts that I read and I just thought, oh my God, I have to, no way. I, I have to make this because I've worked with homeless people for so long. It just understood the complexity of that. There's yeah. a twist at the end that understands <coughs> the complexity yeah. of that situation, that nothing is cut and dry, that the system 
is is built for good but causes its own issues. Yeah. You could see that the script was yeah. written in a way that you like sort of just thoughtful, the, yeah. nuanced. When just the current characters are so nuanced, they're not this whole idea of good and bad. Mm. There is all those things are layered in yeah. real life yeah. are layered. Yeah. And there's different and layers to it. And if I think if if more media bought that stuff yeah. out. Yeah. And it is true. coming, it is coming like you look at the stuff like um, I I may destroy you. Have you seen that? No, no. Um, it's about sexual violence, but she attacks it in so many ways, or tells to the story in so many, like how complex that is that issue is. Yeah. Um, or if you look at Your Honor, which I'm everything is TV at the moment because um, who's going to the cinema now? Mm. Yeah. Um, but Your Honor, like I I really I was watching that at the moment. Ted or what's his name? Who's the guy in Breaking Bad? Brian Granson. Yeah, his, yeah. His, he, so he's the lead in this. But it's a judge and his son and a gangster and his son. And the judge is doing the shitty bad stuff and the gangster is not as bad as you think. Yeah. Because the gangster's yeah. wife is pushing him. But it just really observes the facts that there's crossover and everything. Yeah. And what drives us, and, and for both of them, is their children. Do you know what yeah. you do for your children? Mm. So, so when I read the script, it was just, it blew me away. Yeah. And I've been trying to make it um and hopefully in the summer we'll get it made hopefully um uh things you know that's really good yeah 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 yeah. uh, awfully i'm uh, making it in burr um the film awfully and burr have a sorry temporary they have a a great kind of film festival there and a a great film tradition there so that's really cool producer as well a co-producer in in uh, burr yeah and and uh, and Offley's Offley's a nice quiet place as well. Like imagine, yeah, yeah. So, but but the, the, and you were saying what else was that? I I then went back and I did a master's in screenwriting last year because well I had started it before the pandemic. Yeah, but actually the pandemic happened was brilliant because I ended For up the screenwriting. Yeah, because okay. I ended up staying in Offley or staying in Upper Church and just writing. That's and really just, cool. Yeah. And do you get? I like just ha- I I sorry to say I I'm literally going to die. I have to pace this out here. Yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Right, no, go. Not trying to be rude. I n- I I tried. I literally tried to go all in right. Yeah, we're always oh, we're always trying to get him to sort out his toilet yeah. issues, but you know you, you could can't have a little accident. That, a little potty you know, under the table. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you get different things out of each thing that you do? Like, do you feel like each thing feeds a different part of your soul, or do you like? Yeah. How does it Absolutely. work for you with all those aspects? Um, uh, I didn't know I could write till I was like in my forties. I didn't yeah. realize I'm I'm dyslexic and I am okay. a very visual person. Me too. And um, yeah, and and I remember a nun in school, lovely, lovely woman who used to do the classics and tell us these amazing stories. Taught us English, and she um, she said, "Writing's not for you. English is not for you. You're more creative." And so I never bothered or tried or yeah. writing theses in college is a nightmare. It's like pulling teeth when I managed to get through on my mm. you know my work th- yeah. part of the but um that was uh, the bit that i loved huh that was the writing oh, thesis yeah, yeah, yeah i did a master's degree i did yeah, yeah before medicine and yeah i mm. fucking loved it. it was my i did thing. masters in film and i i it was like pulling teeth i ended up doing a, vis- a video thesis where i d- i wrote it and i spoke it and then put pictures to it because the thesis I found so difficult, because academic writing is... Yeah. Mm. Um, but then I started filming, and I started, you find you're rewriting scenes based on how it works, or that's not going to be cut well, so I have to... And you just end up rewriting scenes that people give to you. And so I thought, do you know what? I, maybe I can write this, mm. maybe. And so screenwriting is very particular. And very visual, and I'm good at visual. Well, so it's what's is it with screenwriting like? You're, you're setting the scene, you describe the scene. Is that how it works, or what? Yeah, do you well, do? it's a it's a dialogue it's and stuff. It's, it's a balance of not too much. Um, you all right there now? Yeah, I, I could go now. for another two hours. I've been holding that in since episode thirty-four, okay. but it's okay now. Yeah, yes. thanks. I'm, so, I'm so sorry about that. No, I yeah. had to let it go on me. <laughs> but it was just because I thought about it, and I was like, it's been 30, nearly twenty episodes. I was like, 
I felt like you were a good enough guest that were like, yeah, you could keep Carry the conversation. You could keep oh, the conversation yeah, yeah, going. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't cry. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They've been <laughs> mean to me while you were away. <laughs> 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 we're trying to get rid of his diva complex. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, normally we'd have to stop. Everyone yeah. would have to stop while Kieran goes to piss. <laughs> 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 I've I've nearly I've had to get two bladder surgeries from holding in the pee for our guest. Uh, yada, right. yada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, anyway, about you're talking about right. Whatever. Let's continue talking <laughs> about me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Enough about you. Yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> 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 always does this. Carry on. Quiet. Quiet on set, please. Uh, what was it? Go- uh, so it's yeah, writing scripts. Yeah, it's very yeah. visual. And y- what do you do? Y- 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 you've got to keep the audience interested. Okay. You've got to keep it moving, and you've got to dialogue not too much dialogue not too much description um and, and keep surprising people so when you um, say not too much description is that like what do you mean by like that pages that? don't don't <laughs> so so your page should be yeah. there's a very formulaic way in that okay. you you kind of write it um it shouldn't look too dense with description and it shouldn't look like pages of dialogue either okay, you know okay. I mean? um uh, and so i learned really good technique is the first thing i do is i write is is rewriting yes but i write the first draft and i i write everything in the dialogue yes. i write you know she walks in the room says i love you mm. do you know and and get and says everything she's feeling yes. right yeah and then when you go back you kind of you go right that's why i want the audience to know what do i want the audience to know mm. and then then i'll go sure. I'll I'll take it out of the dialogue and put it in the action and leave um uh, leave one ah. little bit of dialogue so she walks in yeah. and she, she does something else yeah. and then she says hi do you know what I mean yeah. but whatever she yeah. does indicates you know yeah. that she loves Your you know yeah, the emotion that goes with the dialogue yeah. do you know what I mean so um, do you think that's more effective I feel like that would be more effective to me anyway if I was like watching a movie if someone can convey that yeah rather through the words it's just like but yeah. show don't tell. But then there's a new generation of Netflixers who who are, are are watching stuff on their mobile while they're watching Netflix, and so people like that want you to Tell put it in the dialogue as well as show it, huh? No way. No, I haven't. Stranded. It's one of Owen's favorite movies. Okay. There's only one actor in it. There's only three words. I'll check it out. Well, that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. There's only three yeah. words in the movie. It is getting across <laughs> emotional. Uh, emotion is a thing that people connect with. So how do you get across? You know, I was saying before, when you walk <laughs> in and somebody needs to pee, yeah, you, you, know, you kind of, it's easy to show that. What's that movie about the Irish famine yeah. that was out last? Oh, Black 47. Black 47. Like, 47. like there was yeah. very little dialogue in that, wasn't no, there? No, was no. there any dialogue? No. Um, uh, yeah, there was. Yeah. Bla- was there? Black yeah. 47, oh, Black your Fart. man, he just doesn't say a whole lot. He's Australian, yeah. I think, the actor, actor so he, yeah. he didn't right. have to work I on his I watched accent. that in Turles, right? And so I know the director of that. One of the guys, one of the guys from the, who started the factory, mm. um, Lance Daly, was the director of that. Yeah. And I watched it in Thurless, and then I messaged him afterwards saying, yeah. I've just watched Black 47 with yeah. a really rowdy, young, immature audience. Yeah. So we get in there, and they're all like, oh, you know, and, and throwing popcorn and thing. And all I right. said, by the time we left, you could have heard a pin drop. No Do way. You know I mean? That's yeah. really, that's like, and that was I feel like that's like yeah. the best, like that's better yeah. than any Oscar. Well, it's like a huge compliment for, oh, for, a, for a, a kind yeah. of director. Because and like Terrellis is a, a a place where there were a lot of famine pots and yeah and um so yeah it was it was a lovely kind of that's really cool emotions. yeah my mother was telling me about that movie I must watch it like mm. yeah it sounds really I good I think though it deserved a bigger budget I think the only yeah. problems with it is that the some of the graphics were a bit funny weren't they well no the 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 uniforms don't quite fit and the camera doesn't move as fluidly as it should and and the score but and that's all down to budget I think he mm. should have been given you know it's yeah. just a complete shame that that didn't have with the graphics budget. and stuff like this in it, some of the things look kind of drawn or something. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. did. But, yeah. but but I actually kind of liked that. Then it gave it a style of its own as well. Yeah. It was kind of yeah. like its own. Famine so in the budget. Yeah, yeah famine yeah. in the budget. Yeah, yeah. Famine in the budget. Well, it and and no, no. in the whole thing. And Lance it? is an amazing actors yeah. director in that he really is yeah. really good with actors. He he um, he knows how to just. What was the budget on that? I have no idea. Yeah. Not enough. Apparently, yeah, <laughs> no, definitely. It's just it sh- it should have had a bigger, you know, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But anyway, um, do you think uh, what do you think about like do you think Netflix are uh, you know like the way Netflix is like pumping out movies? What mm. do you think about that whole thing? You think do you think it's killing the sort of movies, or do you think Nef- 
What do you think of Netflix? I don't know. Oh, oh, I, I kind of, I watched a lot of stuff on Netflix, and now I'm, I, where do you watch your stuff? I'm like on Now TV, <coughs> Amazon Prime. Yeah. Um, In terms of like, what, what do you see? Is Netflix having a positive or a negative impact on the mu- on the movie industry? I don't know the business side of that. I am someone who just wants to get movies made. Yeah. So if Netflix rock up with a load of money for me, I'm going to say absolutely yeah. yes. I think they've cool changed company. things in terms of of um, it's a lot of TV as opposed to yeah. like people are binge watching TVs as opposed to going to the movies. Mm. I don't know whether that's problematic, but in TV a lot, I think. St- Film can be higher brow in what they say. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Whereas TV, I think, get into the nitty gritty of a character, um, uh, yeah. and can explore unconscious bias or th- you know all the things that we're seeing at the you know as problematic yeah. at the moment. And if it continues to go the way it is, I think it's great. Okay, so right, that's really cool. Yeah, um, like I love series like um, Succession. Having seen little eyes. Is he godless? No, I haven't seen that. That is one mm. of my no, favorite shows. Really it's on Netflix. It's only one yeah. season. Like, yeah. I, 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 you know, I love it. Like, anyway. Mm. Um, but yeah, they, they do great well, When you're TV exploring shows. characters that are um, uh, nuanced, complicated, issues that are complicated, it's not just the goodies and the baddies. Or, yeah. or I think that's where we need to be seeing things, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, and do those document a lot of the documentaries they do actually are yeah. really interesting. I do the one thing when it comes, uh, yeah, the TV shows on Netflix, all the TV shows have their own char- characters, stuff, but a lot of, not all of them, there's some great Netflix original movies. With the movies I'm talking about specifically, I can't, I feel like it ne- I could nearly, because I'm not a direct, like you, it's probably not the same for you because you've like experienced it, like you'd be able to spot styles much more. Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty good with like that, but like, um, there doesn't seem to within the movies. There doesn't seem to be like crazy difference in the styles for the movies. Like even in mm. terms of shots and stuff like that, there sort of feels like there's a structure. And I know there's not because I know it's not. There like will be a structure, yeah. Okay, and they will right. have a certain kind of. Is there like a structure to just pump these movies out? It sort of feels like I don't know. Um. But I yeah. but the, but like yeah, and again like Netflix is they're a really cool company. Like there's so many like. <laughs> Like just in case they want to sponsor a podcast. Want to buy this podcast. <laughs> no, I say or buy a podcast. Really like Netflix. Yeah, yeah. And, and and with money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to send them our TV show. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh fuck Amazon! I'm only messing. With you. Um, uh, but yeah. Um, like RT, Karen. <sighs> no, nah, I'm only messing. We do, we do. I, I, I like. Uh, we love RT. I like. Uh, I like there's loads of really cool people involved with RT. Yeah. I, there's not uh, yeah, there's no kind um, of finance department. I know, <laughs> I, it's, it's, it's commissioning <laughs> editors. <Yeah. laughs> no, it's it's hard. It's this balance of of what the public want. And uh, do yeah. you know, this is yeah. like myself and my twin sister. She yeah. is a performance artist. Yes. And very it's quite highbrow. Yeah. And she's doing a PhD in performance art in, in St. Martin's in London. And then there's me and I'm commercial yeah. and I feel um, she hasn't said it, but it's like I'm a sellout. Do you know what I mean? I but know. my thing is, my audience can be bigger than yours. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That yeah. Sounds like everything has its own form of art. Like mm. there's even an art and a sort of highbrow end to commercialism. Like there it doesn't is. matter. I need to do yeah. commercialism yeah. Yeah. in yeah. the right way. But it's my thing that's is that true. I would like to make movies that millions and millions and billions of people see. Yeah. And yeah. that's where you deal with issues like unconscious bias or, you know... Mm complex characters all the kind of things if you are careful about what it is you want to say if you know what it is you want to say like the idea of good and evil and yeah. the notions of of, of uh, what society is doing and what we should be doing and yeah. how we're treating people and and um all of that if you do it in a mainstream way you hit a lot more people and you affect yeah. the world in a, in a different uh, yeah, I, kind I of I thing totally so there's nothing that. wrong with Netflix oh, or yeah. or any of them yeah. they yeah. are and, and their remit is to satisfy their audience do you know True. what I mean and, and so yeah, yeah. there's this balance of, of yeah yeah definitely 100% I totally agree with that I think like the whole like that's what we want to do as well like we're just trying to build a platform you know like with the podcast the whole purpose of it's to get attention to promote other stuff that we will be doing down the line like which is um yeah i, I think so it's, like it's i've seen i i like the that you've got a massively wide array of people yeah, yeah. On that are really interesting yeah. and Ye- and to me like that's why i like photographing people they're just yeah you hear a little bit about their 
Well, like I, I like Actually. thing about this is like what we're doing is like if there was no guest or if the guest was a certain t- a certain type, which most podcasts are, you know, it's very specific to a certain industry or something mm. that might be dear and near to the hosts. But like, you know, because we're so like our backgrounds are so broad or whatever, I feel like that like sort of we haven't like the right thing w- is to have uh random you know all sort all t- walks of life in terms of guests mm. which mm. um which for me personally leads to if all these cameras right weren't here right now i'd still be having fun doing this because yeah, it's yeah, like because yeah. like having it's the really yeah. 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 yeah whereas it would get boring if it was about the one subject or stuff like that you wouldn't just meet up to talk about it but it's like you know like if if all this like just didn't record or something and it's happened before it's never been like there's not that sense of oh no fuck it's like yeah we just you did do press it record on did you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is the what drives you. If you are lucky enough to work in what drives you, like yeah. I've never had a full time, an actual full time job. I've worked insanely all my career, but yeah. I've never been in one place. And yeah. that's what I like is meeting different people. Yeah, working with different people. Yeah, yeah. it's something you don't do in your own, so you have to yeah. learn social skills. Yeah, but it's it's um uh. Uh, kind of being pushed by, by I'm interested in that somebody yeah. else must be interested in that what's yeah. your take on it what yeah. do you yeah. you know I think you learn about yourself from True. definitely yeah. and you continue to grow the more interactions you have with a broader array of people the more your own growth continues yeah. if you're yeah. just stuck in the same place with the same people yeah. doing the same thing it's like you just fucking die on yeah, the inside yeah. Yeah. when I was growing up that was a thing that was like get a, I remember someone saying to my mom would you not get a real and then <laughs> geography is a hobby, mm. do you know? And 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 you could join a camera club or something. Well, I I always found that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Real yeah. jobs are awful. <laughs> Real, like you, your I mother asked me to say this. <laughs> 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 but I was I always found that that it, it, it's unconscious. I don't mm. I. It's like waking up in the middle of fields with a crew of twenty people, yeah. and they're all looking at you, going, "Right, what are we doing?" And I'm like. Oh fuck! I've done <laughs> it again. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Why am I here? Why am I doing this? You know, and they, that's a terrifying moment, yeah. but wow. it's addictive. It's yeah. like, and when you it get makes it you right, think it reminds you that you're alive. Yeah, oh. and occasionally, just occasionally, you get it right, and that's yeah. like yeah. that's the buzz. Heroin, where, you know? Yeah, yeah. heroin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it, it's um. <laughs> it's a fair comparison, yeah, isn't it? Is it? Well, yeah. it's slightly exact, dodgy exactly comparison. Exactly the same. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Except you don't have to inject it. Okay. <laughs> no needles. It's like heroin with no needles. I yeah, like we were only talking about this the other night, like how like the heroin. Uh, yeah, <laughs> on heroin we were talking about failures. Yeah. Um, and like I was, I, I literally like it is not saying like some cringy thing of like. Oh, failures are also successes. I know that's true, but I know it's oversaid and p- that can like pull people away. But like, I've just like it. It it weirds me out. I'm trying to conceptualize. I'm trying to understand like what it means to fail because for I've done things the past like and I've like you know big things that just like didn't go ahead. But like, you like just almost got there. Yeah, yeah and it's yeah, like yeah. like there was a festival that we were doing that got shut down the day before and. Uh, we went to the pub like on the day of it and it and it felt like I was at a funeral because I've been to that same pub like for actual funerals and I felt the exact same feeling but I didn't feel like I failed and I, so I felt like I was at a funeral for the thing that we were doing I swear to god it was like a funeral I was just like but if you look at that and go right why was it shut down yeah no not to do that next time yeah and then go again that's what I'm saying not once during that time so although I felt like that like I was mourning for it I, it did not feel like a failure from the start to end. I know there people yeah. it might be failure, but like, uh, what happened after that? Two months later, because of that, I went to a festival management course and like all this stuff. And like, you know, granted, it's still all money for the festival and that, like, is still well. But listen, I've but been in hock so many times over, you know, um, projects that I've uh, kind of self funding projects is a dangerous game. Yeah. You know? um, mm. uh, and mommy and daddy have quite a bit. I read this <laughs> yeah. this thing on um uh, just a random Instagram thing that popped up, and it's like that the the image is like somebody being interviewed, and there's questions underneath, and it says um, uh, how do you manage success or what brings success? And the answer is right decisions. How do you make right decisions? Experience. How do you get experience? Wrong decisions. Yeah. 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 And that is yeah. literally yeah. that's the process. <coughs> yeah. That's it. It's really yeah. true. Completely. Before Owen heard it, it's a quote he's telling us. Why is it don't plan to succeed? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, oh, no. yeah oh, you just good, keep trying. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, yeah, when I say, do you know, I, I liken it as well. So I was a photo assistant for like seven years. Could have been a bloody doctor or something mm. useful. Yeah, but no, never do that. <laughs> never do but that. I was, uh, and making the step from from photographer from photo assistant to calling myself a photographer and myself, yeah. my very good buddy uh, Mary Furlong is also an amazing photographer, and and we were assistants together, and it was like making this step was a huge thing to to say. And s- actually saying I'm a photographer now. Oh, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? My was mother talks about yeah. that as an artist. Like, it's like... And then, yeah, and then I'm a photographer. And now trying yeah. to make the step to say I'm a director is another thing. Is another yeah. thing. Do you know what I mean? Is that other step. But I think if you're always making those steps, true. you're moving yeah. forward. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. Yeah. But I remember now. back and go, okay, I can do this one because I did it before. Yeah, that's what my mother said. I know she quoting someone who said maybe said, but she said like, yeah, no one ever comes up as an artist or anything like yeah. that. No one. The difference is is like, like you know, with something that's more academic, or someone might say, I can't believe you're a liar now or something. But like, no one ever comes up to you and says you're an artist. Yeah, you tell yeah. yourself that, and at some yeah. stage you yeah. have to. And it's the same with like yeah. a director or a photographer. What do you do? Sometimes I go, I'm yeah, a nurse a or something when you're no. out. Because people at parties, what do you do? I'm a photographer. It was like, do you take weddings? No, I'm a commercial photographer. Oh, is it glamorous? No. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard work. But and it's competitive. Mm. And it's cutthroat and all of those. Do you get that, Haley, with the doctor thing, though? When someone says you're a doctor and you're going, oh, what? you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, I just think it's hilarious. I remember when we, like, we graduated and, like, my best friend from med school was like, was like, hey, yeah, look, I'm a, I'm a doctor and I'm a dickhead. <laughs> and that was his thing, because it's the same thing. Like, y- It's not like yesterday you weren't a doctor and today yeah, you are. You're yeah. not a doctor until you feel like a fucking doctor, yeah. until yeah. you have a certain amount of experience. Yeah. You go, oh, my God, I'm actually doing I'm this. Doing I can this. actually yeah. do this. Yeah. It's not, you know, nobody, you confer that thing on yourself you do. when and you feel that you're capable of doing you, it. You do, but I think I think a lot of, like there's a lot of people in those industries that unfortunately don't, and it, that's the problem. Is like if pe- there there be a lot more better doctors out there. If like there's, there's lots of good doctors out there, but there'll be everyone would be much better if they would uh, if they would act like that because a lot of them do just go by oh they have the paper now, mm. and a lot of them do, and that's what, and then they get lazy, and then they actually stop like. Well, but there is an expectation from the profession to to act like it once you're in it. I mean, it's Definitely, a complicated. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Same um, with architecture. Yeah. I remember having to finish uh, buildings up the top of Harcourt Street in the boom in and in a hurry. Wow. Up the, I won't tell you the exact building, but anyway, <laughs> but up the top of Harcourt <laughs> Street. <laughs> up the it's top of Harcourt Street. Yeah, 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 but I was working in a place, <laughs> and we we were under so much pressure. It was the boom? Well, the nightclubs up there yeah, were anyway. No, it wasn't nightclub, but anyway, um, to get it finished, and you you have to go up there with the builders and just do some detailing for them when they're doing parapets and stuff. I, well, yeah, exactly. But um, I swear to God, every, every time I go up Harcourt Street, I, I bless myself that none of it comes down on my head. No <laughs> way. Because uh, I really yeah. hadn't a clue. Like, yeah. No, <laughs> Jesus. I, like, uh, I'd be looking at them. <laughs> is, you know, is this is this yeah. right? Um, yeah. If you see a bit of recognition in their face. Yeah. you know. But I think everybody... every Is that uh, building okay now? It's still fine, yeah, it's okay. fine. And that's, that's 20 years ago. So it's, yeah. it's, it's definitely stayed... It's uh, the period of liability is over. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't been sued yet. No, uh, but uh, that was twenty years ago. But I remember being the, uh, an absolute ball of nerves. I can't believe people are asking me these questions. Yeah, you know, it's a lot yeah, of uh, pressure, yeah. And then I'd be in bed at night going, "Oh my god, what if it does fall on so?" You yeah. know, or what if? I find even still now, the night before yeah. a shoot, I get nervous. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I still my stomach is yeah. in knots. Yeah. Um, and a lot of the time, I can't. Would you ever want that to go away? Yeah. Yes, please. Would you? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe. And I heard Spielberg say sometimes the hardest thing to do in a film is get out of the car in the morning. No way. You know I mean, on the set. So it is. Uh, That's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> no, but you're always, you're always, and then yeah. when you're in the thick of it, it's great. It's it, it kind of yeah. you can yeah. do it, but mm. um, uh, I still get nervous. Do you like Spielberg? Yeah. Um. Uh. Yes, and I d- just I suppose he's a certain. Yeah. Kind of um, yes, he's, he has his amazing films. Um, I think it's coming to a stage where if he looked at his female characters the way he looked at his male characters, I think uh, interesting things might happen. Okay. Do you know? I think mm. we're looking at film in a very different way now, and and complex female characters interest me more. There are v- films I've seen recently I, that yeah. that um, there's a film called Victoria. It was on Netflix for a while, and then it was taken off. 
Um, it was a one-shot film called Victoria by a German director called Sebastian um, Sebastian Schipper or something like S C H. Do you know? Um, yeah. One of those. Don't you think you heard of this? But I've probably heard it from you. That yeah, <laughs> you could have. Yeah. Um, and it was. I like films that grab you emotionally and don't let you go. Like yeah. I was. I was watching it at nine o'clock in the morning because I was trying to avoid doing my accounts, and yeah. I thought, oh, I'll just watch it. And then I was gripped, and yeah. I couldn't not watch it but it's yeah. filmed in one one shot, one, one shot but it's a, and it's a couple that meet over an hour and a half from a nightclub to a heist mm. so it's um it just constantly grabs you and the characters are so well drawn out and i think i, I think the film is changing a massive amount now yeah. the audience has become so much more intelligent emotionally yeah we're not just kind of Directors had to fed by the bad guy, the good guy. Do you know what I mean? Even like look at the Sopranos, which is touted as the best TV show ever made. The kind of gangster in therapy. Yeah, the whole idea that like you, you know, people like we assume that you know fashion is glamorous, and you kind of go, no, it's actually just kind of hard work, and sometimes it's glamorous and it's glamorous, and sometimes it's shitty and it's and it's cutthroat and all of that. But it's 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 looking at things more complex. So yeah, I I do. Think Spielberg is marvelous, but um, yeah, uh, of a time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, and I'm also thinking of Martin Scorsese, not Spielberg. No. <laughs> <laughs> so everything you just said so was everything I just said is related to Scorsese. Yeah, yeah. he was That's in Dublin a couple yeah. of years ago. and listened to him talk, and, okay. right. and it, he was very interesting. Yeah, that makes Spielberg's more sense. E.T. E.T. is one of the first movies I saw in a cinema, and it was amazing. That's I my, eyes. my eyes. Yeah, that was the only th- reason I, I was asking that. Was like, um, I think he's got like this thing to the masses, but yeah, mm. it's kind of yeah, cool. it it's is. Amazing. But he th- connecting yeah. to, to to people is is absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And I think um, he produces now more yeah. than he directs, and yeah, this emotional kind of yeah, connection yeah. to the masses. Sorry, so I take back what I yeah, said earlier. Your grand Spielberg <laughs> and apply it to <laughs> children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, for me. Spiel- um, Steven Spielberg's watching this right now. I gotta change oh, it. Yeah. No, you're okay. Max like Garzazi, change yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cancel his Patreon oh, account. I'm, I'm just fucking <laughs> spouting about all the big boys now as well. Yeah. No, that that's yeah. really um cool. I think we'll finish up now. And um yeah, thanks for coming on. It's really cool. And yeah, you regards to Isabel and Patty. Thank you. I'm sure they'd be oh Yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching. Have to say hello to Chad as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. oh his uh, song is amazing. Yeah, I, that's going I, on my head. So I, this camera's on. Oh, our our producer's gone to the bathroom. Yeah. And um, but yeah, they've got bladder problems. They've all got yeah, bladder yeah. problems. Yeah, it's it's a family <laughs> thing. We I love that it's song in the genes. St. Patrick's Day thing. Yeah, Jed, yeah, it's like sound. Jed did our so, uh, the ending song for our St. Patrick's Day live stream, which is at YouTube. Hopefully, com. when the Pubs get going and yeah. again and stuff. Yeah. Be able to hear live music. Yeah. That'd be so yeah. cool. Yeah, I've heard Jay the performance. That's why time. I was here before uh, earlier on. Such he a um, good he broke a string this morning, banging out tunes in the yeah. kitchen. So I I went to uh, uh, and got him a, s- a set of strings before I got oh, here. Nice. <laughs> that was no, kind of the song, the song of the St. Patrick's Day parade. That's my favorite. Yeah. We literally had that parade. going round, and yeah. all of us like we. That's my favorite part of the whole show. Genuinely, like I just. Like he's it's so he's human. So it's talented. a great talent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. he's my muse in terms of, of my Instagram um uh funny pictures. Yeah, I've seen he's all that. It's really funny. Um uh yeah. He's always up for a laugh. Yeah. <laughs> he's like my experiment. I'll be mean, like, put that on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. There. And Excellent. he's up for everything. So we yeah. do that with Kieran. Yeah. 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 You, you have to have someone like that in your <laughs> life. <laughs> 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 someone re- willing to do anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll do anything for m- new podcast equipment. So pa- <laughs> Patreon, <laughs> patreon.com slash. Two euros. Ireland does anything podcast. for two euros. Yeah, for <laughs> anything wow. for two euros. Yeah. <laughs> anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, shocking, really. You're laughing now. <laughs> I, I hope nobody pays that two euros. That's shocking stuff to be looking at. Oh, the stuff that we <laughs> wore, that I was doing <laughs> already on our past that. episode. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I hope nobody yeah. more related yeah. to me. No. You should okay. tell your mugs. I want a mug. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a few uh, people actually message her. We sell them, but yeah, um, I totally. I, I no way, about that's that. fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. yeah, we might start selling mugs only on Patreon.com slash Ireland's podcast. How many messing? No, that's c- um, yeah. Thanks a million for coming on as well. It was really lovely to yeah. talk Although to you. Although it'd be worrying calling your shop everything from nothing. 
what I mean? Because it could be it gives everything for oh, nothing. That and you would make yeah, money. that's yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually that, <laughs> that came up in conversation though. before, and I actually remember thinking that like I was like, yeah, that would just like sound like everything's given away for <laughs> no, <it's> like, <laughs> imagine yeah, that says over your shop like mm. yeah, it won't work. Um, yeah, have you anything else to say before you go? Now, now I know every time I ask this, you go quiet. But lads, I asked, and y- and you say, "Well, this was unexpected." But lads, I ask you this question every episode. Have you anything to add? <laughs> I know Haley has. <laughs> 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 so Haley, you want to talk about something? Don't I you? I was just going to say my tea's gone cold. Oh. That's all. I was too busy yeah. listening and chit chatting. Yeah, my tea's gone cold. It's yeah. not a bad it's thing. That's a good thing. That is a good thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a good thing. Now you just check the um, kettle on there. Me, we will. I gotta do that. I just want to. Uh, I just want to pay two euros and get that Patreon thing. <laughs> yeah, you do that. You yeah, so I can just that. see those scandalous yeah, episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'm thinking about. Do you think you'll get in trouble for the last episode? Probably. I shouldn't have done that. What did do? Or do we have yeah. to tune in and see? It's shocking. Mortified. It it involves like a load. Oh no, sure. Oh, I'd no. have to bleep that out because you'd have to yeah, be yeah. there on the yeah. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, did you just try and turn it up and then turn it back on? Yeah, I <laughs> fucked up there. Um, but I let it out. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah, go. right. Thanks for watching. Uh, oh, ha- thanks for existing. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>